Hey guys, welcome back. As you know from our previous video, our 2014 Chrysler Town Country was hit by a deer. Now we got the vehicle completely back together and we have the fender and bumper fitted to the vehicle just to make sure everything is okay. The fender is pre-primed, so we're good to go there. The bumper is not. So follow me along and I'll show you how to prep for paint. So while Chris is working on the Chevy, our van is still not done. So you know we got the bumper and the fender on. Well, even though we got the fender from Chrysler and it was still primered, there was still some imperfections here. There was just little chunks of paint. So Chris had me lightly sand it and now I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of scuff the rest of this down to take away the shine so we can get it properly prepped for a flawless paint job. So what he wanted me to do was just take away the shine here. And you can actually see where the specks were of paint and they actually went down to bare metal once they came off. So how did I do? Did pretty good. Okay, so what we're gonna do, because there's some bare metal spots, we're gonna hit it with some self-etching primer. This stuff really grabs all the bare metal. And just because the fender's still on the van at this point, I just put some cardboard here so we don't get any overspray on the door. So what we're going to do to prep this bumper for paint is we're going to use the one choice three part kit from PPG. The first step is a clean and scuff sponge. So as we're scuffing it, we're also cleaning any debris and grease and stuff off the bumper. Once we get done with this, we'll have to rinse it, dry it off, and then we'll come back with this plastic adhesive, this plastic adhesive wipe. And that'll be the first layer of bonding to the raw plastic and then we'll come back with this aerosol adhesive bond and then once this is flashed off then we can go straight to priming the bumper and then we'll be ready for paint Now we got the bumper and the fender all primered and free of any defects. We're getting ready to start to lay some paint down on this. First thing we need to do is to put down a good coat of sealer so we have a nice even surface to put our paint on top of. So he got the fender painted and the bumper you can just see all the metallic in the paint. It is so beautiful and it looks so good. And then the bumper, he is getting ready to spray the clear on it. We just got done laying down our second coat of clear. It laid out really nice. I don't even think we're gonna have to wet sand and buff this. So just to recap, what we did is we laid down a urethane sealer, which just gives us a really nice even base for the paint to cover so we don't have any blotchiness coming through the paint. Then we put down two coats of our paint for a good coverage, and then two nice wet coats of clear coat. At this point, we're just gonna let it dry overnight, and we'll come back tomorrow and show you final assembly. Another tip, know your equipment. <laughs> I've been spraying with this gun for years, okay? I thought it was an HVLP gun, which if you look at the paint specifications, they want you to spray eight to 10 PSI. Well, when I was trying to spray with this gun at eight to 10 PSI, it was like throwing golf ball size of drops of paint at the car and it was coming out horrible. I was bumping my regulator up to 20 PSI to get a decent paint job. I was still having horrible trouble with runs and orange peel. Started noticing where it says compliant. They want 29 to 40. So between coats, I Googled what compliant air gun meant. I have a compliant air gun. I ran it up to 40 PSI. The best clear coat I've ever laid out. Know your equipment. 